thanks for meeting me. I've asked you here because I have an idea for a cool new invention and need some funding. Gotta run. Bye now. Not from you. I made a video to put on that website Liftoff. If people like it, they'll give me money to build more of these things so I can sell them. But before I put the video online, I want your opinions. Oh, sure. That's different. Just make it fast. In five minutes, I have to wash off this face mask. The only thing I see on your face is your face. It's a clear mask? Why would I want to cover this up? Just tell me what you think. Ethan, always appreciate your support. Rachel, I know I can count on you to tell the truth even if it hurts. Faster. Getting drowsy. Case in point. My name is Harley Diaz. I'm about to talk to you using my latest invention. I call it the Harley Cam. Because my name is Harley. The Harley Cam is a body-mounted, gimbal-based video recording device. Watch this. Oh boy, dizzy. Wouldn't this be better if he was standing up? So hope I can count on your investment. I'm still working on the ending. What do you think? <laughs> the Daphne part was fun. No, it's horrible. It was 20 seconds long, but now I feel like I'm 40 years old and my life is over. You need more sizzle. Cool videos really do attract investors. It's the reason I put a down payment for a condo on Mars. Come 2058, I'm gonna be living large. You need to film something that really shows off what the camera can do, like take it to a big party or skydiving. Mom and Dad are never going to let me go skydiving. I'm the kid most likely to take care of them when I'm older. Yeah, I'm not True. doing that. If you absolutely had to choose between scallions and mushrooms, which would it be? Mushrooms. No, wait, scallions, no, wait. I don't care. Ooh, time to wash off my mask. She's not wearing a mask, is she? No, no, she's just trying to avoid us. Guys, help me out here. I'm having an omelet bar for my quinceanera on Saturday, and I can only choose 10 toppings. Took me all day yesterday to eliminate bacon bits. They lost in the second bracket to ham cubes. Oh, never mind, I can't put this on you. <sighs> Georgie's quinceanera. That would be perfect for showing off the Harley cam. I could have her wear while we do the big family dance. But she's not doing a big dance. She's not even having a party. Just an omelet bar brunch with some carefully considered ingredients. That's a sweet plan if you're retiring from the post office, but this is the most important moment in a young Latina's life. I have to convince her to do a big party. Georgie deserves her moment in the sun. And? And natural light would be ideal for showing off the Harley cam. Just saying. You know, you're almost as transparent as Rachel's fake mask. Hey, 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 hey. Sometimes it feels like things are out of control. Like you're living in a circus. A tomato for the omelet bar. Everyone knows tomato was king of vegetables. I thought it was a fruit. Oh, please, I can't go through this again. Look, this brunch is fine and all, but you've been waiting 15 years for your quinceanera. You deserve more than an omelet bar. You mean an omelet bar and a pancake bar? That just seems showy. Come on, don't you realize how lucky we are? We get a sweet 16 a year before everyone else. You've got to do it up big. Well, what sort of egg-based activity would you go with? This is bigger than eggs. Don't you want a big, fancy party like Rachel had? Guys. I don't know. Over-the-top celebration? That's just not me. But a quinceanera is a big part of her Latino heritage. 
It marks the transition from girl to young woman. Besides, it's like going to a prom that only celebrates you. I appreciate the thought, but I just don't like being the center of attention. My friend's grandfather retired from the post office. He recommended this brunch place. It'll be good. But don't you want to do the big choreographed dance with the whole family? Remember how much fun we had at Rachel's? Yeah, it was really great. I even nailed the running man, which is the only time I've actually nailed running. I would hate to miss out on that dance, but I can't choreograph it myself and I'd have no idea what to wear. Look, being in a big family is like being a part of a team. And the team is here to assist you with all your quinceanera needs. Well, I can't be any more stressful than picking out these omelet fixings. Bye-bye. I'm in. Now I've just got to get the rest of the team in. Great news. Georgie's up for a big quinceanera. And lucky you, you're going to help me plan it. I'm kind of busy. I was going to do this for a while, then watch some TV. I haven't even taken my nap yet. Fine. I guess I'll just have to decide which two girls to invite. It'll be like Rachel's quinceanera. Hi, I'm Rachel's brother, Ethan. Ah, forget it. Then again, Georgie's my sister. Of course I'll help. She has a lot of cute friends. Plus, they're close to my age, so I actually have a shot. Stop with the fan! Stop with the fan! <sighs> Here, these two are your problem now. Dad, there's a real hurricane in Florida with the same name as me, Hurricane Louie. How cool is that? I'm Hurricane Louie. I'm Cold Fried Beast. Cold, 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 cold! Since when do they name cold fronts? They're twins. I had to give them something. They've been tracking Hurricane Louie all day. Hey, why don't you boys go in the back and watch the Weather Network? Think of that. No, I still get credit for this. So it'd be great if you'd help Georgie find a dress. Not interested. Been there, done that. Okay, but she's choosing dresses for all of us. Don't worry, I'm sure you'll look great in whatever she picks out. I see what you did there, bringing my worst fear to life. And I respect it. I'm in. Ladies, George is going to need a dance. And I think we all know I'm the dancer in this family. Dancing one time in a cow costume doesn't make you an expert. Maybe not, but this does. Pow. OK, you got moves. But this is also about keeping people in line, knowing how to crack a whip. What am I saying? You're hired. <laughs> Testing out my Harley cam because Georgie's quinceanera is basically a go. We got dress, we got dancing, we got girls five, four, and under. Last stop, the bank. Mom and Dad, who need to finance this party? Are you out of your mind? Saturday is five days away. It took nine months to plan Rachel's quinceanera, and she made it her part-time job. But the whole family's coming together for this. They're expecting more. Don't worry, our family's used to disappointment. Hey, there's no cold front in summer. See? You've got to throw Georgie a big quinceanera. I don't understand. Why does she want one now? For months, she's been saying she doesn't want us to make a big deal. Teenagers, what can you do? Look, we're sorry, but it's just too late. OK, what you're about to see isn't pretty, but remember, they made me go there. I understand. I think Georgie always knew you liked Rachel better. Hey, we love all our kids equally, as far as you guys know. Well, you threw Rachel a big party, rented out a hall, spent I don't even know how much. But for Georgie, an omelet bar and a dozen toppings seems about right. Oh, wait, you only went with 10. Those are premium toppings. I've got seven kids. A brunch might not be enough. It'll be fine. Maybe Georgie will find a quarter in the booth. She can play the trivia machine on the way out. Look, it's not that we don't want to throw her a big party, but where would we do it on such short notice? We could do it in the backyard. Natural lighting would make the camera look great. I mean, Georgie look great on camera. It would finally make your dad mow the lawn. I'll have Ethan do it. And not because I like him least. I mean, he's one of my top three. I shouldn't have said that. 
For a theme, we could do Under the Sea. It'd be perfect for Georgie. How is that perfect? We own a marina store and we have five days to prepare. Are you really gonna question this? You're right, it's perfect. Time for my dance lesson. Wow, I never thought I'd say that sentence. <laughs> then it's off to my dress fitting. And there's another one. I just hope I don't look stupid. Now that one I thought I'd say. Ooh, Candace Banks just RSVP'd for your party. Who? Really cute girl in your grade. Also, don't be surprised if the girl swim team makes an appearance. Who else are you inviting? Teams or individuals? Hannah Tromer. She beans me every time in softball and once in the cafeteria. But she smells like strawberries. And she's shorter than this. Is that dancing or is that a bee in your pants? Dancing. I was giving you an out. Next time, take it. Now, we're going to bring the hips. Where are we bringing them from? Because mine are not working. How about we try something simple? The family dance involves me, so it's got to be popping. Do I have to do the hair flip? I've got so much, once it's in my face, it's hard to find my way out. The hair flip's not supposed to be easy. Hit it! This dress is ridiculous. Actually, I really like this one. Not for you. For me. But I thought you were supposed to match your dress to mine. Exactly. That's why we're changing yours. Keep up, Georgie. And here are your shoes. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at you, quinceanera girl. Doing a dress rehearsal before your big day. Not that you need it. This feels awkward. Really? It doesn't look it. Here, try with the giant camera strapped around your waist. Don't forget to smile. Gotta say, I think we have a real knack for decorating on a budget. Just don't tell Georgie you bought that flat screen when she told us she didn't want a big quinceanera. Yeah, I don't know about these. Oh, come on, they'll be fun. It's a great photo op, guaranteed crowd pleaser. Yeah, nothing says blossoming into womanhood like an octopus with a face hole. This is Ron Storm with Diaz Action News. I'm reporting live from what seems to be a slap together quinceanera. We had five days. And now, an exclusive interview with the one and only Hurricane Ruby. Hey, Ron, thanks for having me. It has been a hectic few days, smashing trees, flooding basements, ripping off roofs. I am winded. Any truth to the rumors that you're being downgraded to a tropical storm? Uncool, Ron. Uncool. Can a tropical storm do this? Hey, that is potentially a family heirloom. Well, there you have it. This is Ron Storm with Diaz Action News. Mom, Dad, back to you. You pick that up, Ron Storm. Rachel! Rachel, wake up! There better be a fire or a midnight sample sale. Georgie. Yep. We better go outside and see what's going on. I've got to find a quieter neighborhood. She only shoots night hoops when she's upset. That's convenient. She can't see the one she's missing. Bad matchup. I need something with less arms. Or none. <gasps> Seahorse? You're in. Hey. <laughs> Guys? Georgie, we're out here because we're concerned about you. You're concerned about me? I'm not the one who looks like an underwater jug band. We know something's bothering you. What is it? My quinceanera. Turns out being in the spotlight's terrible. I, I don't like my dress, I can't do my dance, and most of the people coming are very short girls I do not know. So what are you saying? You wanna go back to eating omelets? I'm saying I don't want a quinceanera at all. Georgia, come back! This is on us, I feel terrible. And I know everyone else does too. Hey guys! 
since we're all out here, anyone want to push me on the swing? I can't believe Georgie canceled our party because of us. I'm having this weird feeling in the pit of my stomach. That's called guilt. Yeah, well, it's a real bummer. I got all of this started by supersizing Georgie's quinceanera so I could show off my Harley cam. I pulled up the jerk wagon, you guys piled in, and we ran over Georgie. How could have we been so selfish? Well, we do have lots of practice. Nature calls. That's hurricane humor. You're a hurricane. Take it outside. Beast, grab your slicker. You're about to do a special report. OK, guys. We've got to stop thinking about ourselves and start thinking about Georgie. We know we messed up. So we're making you team captain. Whatever you want for your quince, you draw up the plays, we'll run them. Georgie likes it. I love it. <gasps> you look so beautiful. I kind of do. <laughs> I can't believe I'm about to say this, but you look like my sister. You are growing up so fast. Hey, go stand by the scuba guy. We're going to want to remember this. Yeah, we know. He's been here all day. Not me, the actual hurricane. Boys, the news always says there's going to be a hurricane in Marshport. I've boarded up the store 10 times for nothing. <sighs> OK, we're good. Yeah, I'm still in here. Or don't even think about it. I wasn't. Trust me, we're good. Georgie! No. Oh, no! Honey! Georgie, honey! Georgie! Oh, sweetheart. Be careful, the everyone. The seahorse got her. Oh, the flower! Look out! Are you okay? Georgie, are you hurt? So the good news is, you sprained your ankle, we closed the roads, none of the guests can come, and we lost electricity. Where's the good news? Sorry, I just started talking and hoped I'd find something along the way. Here's something to ice your ankle. And one less bag of vegetable medley we have to eat. That's good news. Actually, I'm gonna put that right back in the freezer. Oh. You ruined your sister's big night. How do you feel? Oh, conflicted, Ron. Sure, it hurts, but my job is to cause as much destruction as possible. You wanna play pity pat? Talk to a little pressure system. Words from the hurricane. Regretful, but proud. This has been Ron Storm wishing you good night and good weather. This just in. Area man about to rescue his property before it washes down the driveway. Will he return? Stay tuned. Who hired him? Not me. I'm so sorry this happened. It's OK. It's a sign. It's the universe's way of telling me I shouldn't be the center of attention. I'm not the kind of person to go out there and do a big dance. I wanted to be, but I'm not. That is not true. I may not be able to control the weather yet, but I'm not going to let the weather control me. It's time to show my sister, Mother Nature, and the universe there's no stopping a Diaz. That's right, I said it. 
So we all got to work. It wasn't going to be the party we planned, but we still had everything we needed to make it great. Us. Wow. This must be what it feels like to win a game seven. <laughs> you do deserve your moment in the sun. Even if it's raining. And I have something for you. Whoa. It's motorized. Wow. All you have to do is stand on it. Now you can still do your dance. Can I oh, try that's it? Fantastic. That was so nice. Awesome. Oh, Georgie. This is amazing. I love my Harley board. Actually, I call it the Georgie board. <laughs> Normally, we would start with a father-daughter dance, but I don't know how long that ankle's gonna hold out. <laughs> so let's get to the part where everyone's involved. And now, for the moment we've all been waiting for, the family dance. Cam will have to wait a little longer to have its big moment. The important thing is, Georgie got to have hers.